guys, this is Holly Cates, your favorite personal stylist, and as always, the only Holly you need to know. This is a very special episode of the Fashion Crimes Podcast. We are at the Swimsuits for All main headquarters, and we have been so excited to see these gorgeous people who design these beautiful swimsuits of swimsuits for all. I have been talking about them for three years. I wear their product. I am a customer. I am so excited to introduce Brian and Christina. Welcome to the show. So glad to be here. Yeah, excited. thank you, Holly. This is great. So excited. I want to know, you are under the full beauty brands umbrella. I know there are several, several plus size designers under that. Who started Swimsuits for All and how did you guys become full part of the full beauty brands? We'll start with you. All right. Um, good place to start because I was with the original company before we joined the full beauty team. And it was a rather small company that had exponential growth because there were so many women looking for well-made, flattering swimsuits at a reasonable price. So uh, a guy from New Jersey put together a small line and it was an instant success. His mom had a history of selling swimsuits uh, at her tiny shop down at the Jersey Shore. Mm -hmm. And he said, Mom, I'm gonna try and put your stuff online, which at the time was, what was that, 16 years ago? Mm -hmm. It wasn't as prevalent as it is now. And a woman never would have considered buying a swimsuit online mm -hmm. at that point in time. So they just decided to take the ball and run with it, two guys straight out of college. And what happened is it took off. So then they realized that they needed more product. So they started looking around for people that worked in the swim industry that knew a lot about construction and design and marketing and everything else that goes into making a great swimsuit. And uh, about 10 years ago, before we were part of Full Beauty Brands, um, I was uh, hired by Swimsuits for All as their in-house swimsuit expert. I have many years of swim experience because I am a passionate lifestyle swimwear person. Like, grew up on the beach, that's why they laugh in my family, <laughs> because I was born in April and on the beach in June. <laughs> so, you know, swimsuits are kind of my life. So they needed someone with that kind of passion to come in and say, have a point of view. Like, let's push the envelope. What's out there in the terms of product that people would really want to see and try? Also, a big part of our brand is size inclusivity. And, yay, <laughs> here. And people of all sizes and all ages want to wear different types of styling. We'll make the assumption that you know, that a young person wants a certain coverage and a little bit older person would want more. And sometimes it's not 100% true. Mm -hmm. It's about personal comfort and great fit. So that being said, we brought a lot of product here to show you today that has specific attributes that make these swimsuits fit several different body types, but also many people can put them on and feel comfortable because Let's face it, wearing a swimsuit is exposing. It's one mm -hmm. of the few times that you're out with very little clothing on, out in public. Mm -hmm. So to feel confident that something isn't going to move, that you don't want to move, nothing's going to fall out, you're going to look your absolute best. Mm -hmm. And as we mature, that, in my opinion, becomes even more important. Mm -hmm. uh, I totally agree. Brian, how do you fit into all this? Yeah, so I came into the fold here at Full Beauty Brands about five years ago. My experience as a merchandising leader was actually not in the world of women's wear and not in the world of plus. My I started my career off uh, actually at Levi's. So my parallel that I have as I think about my time here in swimwear is, while maybe not as exposed as swimsuits, denim is something that is also very difficult for a lot of people to shop based on their body types. Um, so I have this experience of helping people my, my role as a merchant is always being the person who is the voice of the customer. I have to know who he or she is, what he or she is looking for, and what are the problems in her life, and how can we, from a product perspective, provide solutions to her or him um, in the experience um, when I was doing menswear prior to this. Um, so as I came to Full Beauty Brands about five years ago, I've had the pleasure of working on several of our different brands. So I've worked on Women Within, which is our largest brand that we have here for apparel. 
I've worked on the Romans brand, which is another one of our uh, women's apparel brands as well. And I actually joined the Swimsuits for All team, it's gonna be a year ago, actually next week, it's my, my full year in the business. Uh, and for me, again, it's been such a pleasure to really get to understand who this customer is. I, I'm clearly not the target customer for Swimsuits for All, so it really requires me to stay super close to who the customer is, listen to her via customer review, see what she's talking about on social media, and my goal of kind of understanding who this customer is, is really looking for what are the problems in her life and how can we help find solutions for them to really bring um, as much confidence as she can to a category, as Christina said, is, is so intimate and can be um, daunting to shop for. So I bring the lens of how do we market it to her? How do we bring this to her in a way that's super convenient? How does she know that she is getting the best quality and all of the thoughtful design that Christine and her team puts into all the swimsuits, how are we conveying that to her in a strong, compelling way so that she can take that onto the beach or to the pool or to the spa um, and feel super confident in, in whatever bathing suit she chooses to wear. So even though you don't wear the product, how many do you have in your apartment? How many do I have in my apartment? I mean, <laughs> like that's, for, that's for the weekends, maybe, but um, yeah. Do your I mean, girlfriends come over, they're like, I'll take that, I'll <laughs> take that, I'll take that. I mean, no, it is interesting. My, I do have you know friends who have be, either been um, fanatics of the brand before that when I came into Swimsuits for All, they're like, we're so excited that you're working for this brand because I, I, I shop them, I'm familiar with them. And I've also been able to help turn some of my friends and family onto the brand as well. Mm -hmm. You know, I've, my, my mom, my cousin, I've got people of other, all shapes and sizes in my family. Um, and so now they're, they're intrigued as to what I'm doing because I'm actually working on women's wear now before. You're, um, they're like, we love that dress. We love that us. now. We're like, where's that friends and family again? <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, it is, it is um, a lot of fun to be able to, um, you know, share this with friends and family as well. Well, I'm, I love that. I wanted to go back to Christina and ask you, are you from the Jersey Shore? I'm actually from Long Island. Oh, you're from I'm a Long Fire Island, Island gal. Oh, very nice. So my second question is, I, I love the technology of buying a bathing suit today versus even 20 years ago. When you see a competitor, let's just throw a brand out there, Miracle Suit. When you see a competitor like that, what sets you apart from somebody who really has engineered fabric technology and they're like, you look 10 pounds thinner? What, how do, what, is, what is your angle mm -hmm. on that? Uh, I have to say that, interestingly, people have a perception of a quality of something based on a price point or what their, um, their brand motto is that is not always exclusive to the reality of other products. So I would have to say that there are suits that say they are for long torso. Our suits generally measure as long or longer than that because mm -hmm. most people find, especially anyway. for, yes, okay. and it's for a stretch product. Got it. You know, so it's not going to really hurt someone in the petite category or they can shop silhouette accordingly to accommodate a shorter torso. But a lot of people really want the longer torso to get a better fit. Now, in terms of the compression fabric, we have added interior components to all of our swimsuits so that we get the um, tummy control factor involved. We can also get the bus support factor with interior components, but we have the flexibility to use uh, the best quality nylon spandex. Can you show us an example? Absolutely. Here we go. Let's take this beautiful swimsuit here. I love this one. Ah, uh, yeah, no, that is a this winner. This will be mine. <laughs> oh, yes. Look at the bottom. So cute. Love that. The inside of the suit, if we just want to take a suit, uh, the anatomy of a swimsuit. Here's the outside. It's beautiful and sexy. It has strategically paneled sheer, Panel. not too sheer. Panel. And it has these gorgeous style lines that are immediately flattering. They draw the eye upward to your beautiful decolletage, which is generally speaking an area that women would prefer to feature. Like if you did a poll of women, I think that would be mm -hmm. one of their confidence areas. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that's good to note. The next thing is let's look at the inside of this lady. Mm -hmm. Here she is. The inside of the swimsuit has what we call tummy control panels. This is power mesh. This is- Very powerful, people. 
Very this powerful. is a high spandex content mesh, thus the power name. And what it does for you is it holds you in and smooth. So the exterior of the suit looks virtually bump free. Mm. So someone that would say, I'm only gonna wear dark color because that's the most flattering and shows the least possible areas of less confidence, shall we say. Whereas this gorgeous papaya color is just as beautiful, bump free and flattering as a black swimsuit because of the interior construction. You hear that people? Orange slash papaya mm -hmm. is just as flattering as black. I did not know that. If it's got the right lining. If it's ladies. got the right lining. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. We so just a lot something. of what I consider uh, inferior products, frankly, are ones that do not have such a quality lining. Yep. The lining is key. So sometimes it's what's on the inside. You know, mm. beauty is uh, within. The support of the swimsuit is within. The other thing that's really helpful to know is this type of interior construction where we have a very comfortable soft plush wire channel with an underwire. This is going to lift someone, it's going to give support, but it's not going to dig mm -hmm. the way a lot of people are like underwire is the enemy. I know, a lot mm -hmm. of people complain yeah, about that. Yeah, underwire is your friend and not everything we do has underwire, mm -hmm. but this particular model was very popular because people actually, it's one of our top three search terms yep. on our website. Mm -hmm is underwire. So uh -huh. she's saying, the customer spoke, I want underwire. Mm -hmm. All right, let's give her some underwire. Mm -hmm. So here it is, but we tried to make it comfortable. Now these molded cups are a different size for each size swimsuit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So someone is not, we're not expecting one size fits all. Some of the um, bargain brand swimsuits would have the same cup in various sizes. Mm -hmm. Now that, it's so that they can order a whole bunch at one time mm -hmm. and maybe get a uh, quantity discount. Mm -hmm. Whereas we're running so many various swimsuits that we're getting a really sharp price, but we're getting to have the individuality of a separate cup for each size woman size. So this lady is getting, you know, I'm not sure what size this is, but if this is a 12, is it a 12? Probably a photo sample 12. It, oh, it's a 14. Ah, this is a 14. This cup is specific to size 14. Mm -hmm. And that's really, you know, a key feature. So that is a garment construction detail that we just learned. So it is not a one size fits all breast cup. It is individual like a bra. Right, is what you're saying. Now, the, someone is a 14 is gonna say, I'm not the same shape as that lady that is also a 14, mm -hmm. and she's absolutely correct. What do we do about that? Well. We have adjustability. <laughs> the back clasp has three different size adjustabilities. So let's say this person is a certain bra size. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a lady that's a 36 bust band. Mm -hmm. You know how bras are sized that way. Right. Or she mm -hmm. might be a 38. Or she might be a 34 and be narrow with like significant, you know, decolletage. So that being said, she can tighten this because people make the mistake of thinking that all the support for a garment for their bust comes from the shoulder strap. No. That is not true. You probably know this as a fashion I, I, person. Yes, that's because I... This is the magical underbust band. Underbust band. That's going to provide the support. You honestly could slip your straps off, put your arms in the air. If you've got this taut enough around your body, you're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. The next thing that's important to note is the adjustable straps. All of our suits have sliding straps, either a tying neck strap like the one on the table or an adjustable sliding Hi, strap. So now imagine you're petite Ooh, and I love this too. you don't have so much height, mm -hmm. but you really want to wear the swimsuit. What do you do? You slide up the strap. Mm -hmm. That lifts the whole thing up. But we're not fully relying on this because this is going to start to make a dent in your shoulder. Make it's not tired. supposed to be red. It's no, no, to it's dig. supposed to be comfortably taut. Correct. So if you get this under bust band where it needs to be, then you just slide this to your bust is comfortably taut on your shoulder. Then you're good to go. Okay. So if you take away nothing else from this, mm -hmm. adjustability is important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's I not just, not just in the world of one pieces either. Like this is an example of a bottom here that has you know cinching adjustability on the sides here, where she can easily take this and tie this up if she wants a little bit more of a higher mm. uh, leg shape. Um, but if she's you know doesn't want to show up as much of her leg, you have the option to leave it as uncinched as possible. So 
she literally can change this with whatever outfit and look that she may want. If she's wearing this with a bikini and again wants higher coverage, you can cinch it and do so. If she wants something with more coverage because she's wearing, you know, cover up on top, she has that ability to really adjust it to what, how her body is that day. Because that's the other thing too, right? We all know that our body it's change and if you're on vacation and you might be eating a little bit more, like you have that flexibility. And I think that's something that's also important to have swimsuits move with your body as your body changes too from day to day. That's a good point, Brian, mm -hmm. because people do change day to day, mm -hmm. but also there's occasions where they might want to feature a different look. Exactly. You know, like this, this cinched up look is like honeymoon cruise, mm. and maybe this cinched down look is family picnic. Exactly. Uh, you know, so you're not buying a different swimsuit for each occasion, you're just wearing it a different way. Mm -hmm. Can we talk about butt coverage? Absolutely. <clears throat> anyone can answer I if if I'm just using me as an example if I'm one size up top one size on the bottom I understand and appreciate the option to buy a separate top size and a bottom size mm -hmm. that is why and I'm not just saying this because y'all know I am a terrible liar I do not know how to lie that's how I started was because I was going to everything but water, mm. okay, mm -hmm. another competitor, and I still could not find a bottom that, with enough coverage. Mm -hmm. And if I did have enough coverage, it was too matronly mm -hmm. because I think I'm young and, and sexy, okay, so uh, debatable, but that's what I was thinking. And I was like, I, I don't need all this in front. Yeah. I just don't, I just need the butt coverage. I can rock this. So can you speak to how is that a top seller is that what people are looking for is it more important are people looking for that you know skimpy cut or is it more because this looks skimpy to me that's our cheeky cut mm -hmm. this, this is, is cheeky. a great mm -hmm. great uh topic to talk about because, okay yeah. you know we have our initiative i was now like this does do, not uh, look like full coverage yeah, right. no but but take a look at this no i know yeah. i'm loving this is this. a full coverage mm -hmm. pant this mm -hmm. is our most coverage now okay. this, you're looking at cheeky. Turn that around. It has a little bit of butt shearing. It's really sexy. Oh, butt shearing. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, which gives you detailing here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think I could get that to get that, but this is I could ride mm -hmm. this train all day. And this one is what we call our modern coverage. Oh, modern. Now you'd okay. probably love this. I, I love this personally because that. it's the compromise between a full, full coverage and this and the cheeky coverage. Okay. This modern coverage gives you a full coverage. It it walks with you. It's mm. not going to ride up the way Ooh, you might have a with it. That's a big one. I mean, there's cheeky people that intentionally want it to ride up. Mm -hmm. I don't happen to be that person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. this coverage still feels sexy and modern, and that's why we call it modern. And yet it's not the full coverage gal. That's because I'm not ready for this either. And also my body shape is not one that I would need to be covering you know, a sexy mm -hmm. tux. Mm -hmm. And what did you, what is I think this one is right in, in between, right? That looks modern as well. Oh, this is a modern one, okay. But yeah. it also has the, the shearing on the side as well. Yes, that's a high waist. So yeah. you do get the effect of it looking a little slimmer because mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, vertical line in it. Yeah. Let me ask you this. If you're a plus size company, why do the swimsuits start at size four? Is that right? Yes, that's inclusivity. Yeah. We have people that, well, they the ask for it. Mm -hmm. It's the opposite inclusivity. Mm -hmm. We go from 4 to 44. 44, we do. Wow. You hear that, people? 4 to 44. And when I say swimsuits for all, I mean that we have something for everybody. We do. But I'm not saying that every suit is for everybody. Uh, that's very And that's true why as well. there's choices. I mean, maybe someone that's a size 4 does not necessarily want the same thing that a size 44 wants. Mm -hmm. But we offer different options. So there are skimpy styles that mm -hmm. go up that high. And yeah. there are also full coverage styles that mm -hmm. go down to the small size. Yep. And what is, tell us, this is a swim dress. Mm. Let's talk about this. Fire Coral, one of our new hot reds, love which it. we really love. Basically, a swim dress is a full one-piece swimsuit that has a dress connected at the underbust on top of it. Okay. Now, what does that do? That allows someone to have the comfort of full confidence coverage, and yet it functions in the pool. You know, they can get in this. It's it's really cute. Mm -hmm. And people find themselves putting on a pair of high heel sandals 
and going to the beach yep. bar. You don't really need a cover up with this because it's kind of like you've got everything covered. Yes, it, you know? it covers your tuchus. It covers. It covers your tuchus. Yep. It covers your tuchus. It covers your front thigh area. It's super but cute. But check it out. It has a little slit. So when you but walk, we're getting this. Little, it little looks little modern. It doesn't yep. look old lady to me, and I'm not just saying that. It looks modern and chic, like somebody older could wear this and somebody younger could totally wear this. Absolutely. And maybe it's the color, maybe it's the v-neck, but I think it's really pretty. Yeah, I think that it's a combination of all the styling details. And we do have someone on my team that's in her early 30s who is buying this. She is not a swim dress customer per se, but we had an initiative from your team mm -hmm. to give us what we called sexy swim dresses. Yep. And first I thought, sexy swim dress, do those words belong in the same <laughs> sentence? Right. It turns out that they no. do, yep. because a customer is out there that wants this. They don't want it matronly, they don't want it to look like grandma's mm -hmm. swim dress, mm -hmm. but they want to have the still comfort and coverage. And they also want the ease too, because we've been talking a lot about separates and mixing and matching, which is important, I think, and a lot of people do want that option to buy you know, a mix and match of different tops and bottoms, but there's also a lot of people who, I'm going on vacation and I don't want to have to worry about that one piece, like what we were talking about earlier with this papaya or even this swim dress, gets you that full head to toe look without having to even worry about putting an outfit together. So there's definitely plenty of women that appreciate, like, I can just pull this on and I look put, put together without having to worry about all the different Especially components. if you are not a layout person mm -hmm. and you have to walk around a lot or you're chasing your kids mm -hmm. or whatever, you don't want to have to constantly pull it down, pull it down, but that's obnoxious. Yeah. Or if you're playing with your kids in the pool or whatever your story is. Tell us, Brian, what are, give us some major pain points that people are constantly telling you, you're like, we've done that, we've done that too, please mm, see mm, this style. Mm. What are the biggest pain points that people are talking to you about? I mean, I think we've talked about a lot of a lot of them, and I think one of our biggest rising things we've been talking about has been bus support. I think that particularly in the in the world of swimwear, I don't think that there are many other brands that offer the assortment that we do in terms of bus support. and one of our biggest growing portions of our business has been the bra size tops that we have in our business. And again, out in the marketplace, there just aren't a lot of people that serve the size range that we're able to offer in terms of going up to, um, Christina, you'll have to keep me honest here in terms of the cup sizing, but going up to size, sizes E, F, and G is something that I don't see a lot of other people um, in the H. swim space. H, yeah, we go all, all the way up uh, We even go higher. pretty far up. Are you just like, I know more about boobs than I ever thought I would in my lifetime? I mean, I, uh, as a gay man, you know, it's, I'm not someone who's always looking at the female body in that way, but if I were, I would probably be a boob man you uh, out of everything. You are very knowledgeable. Uh, I mean, I have to be. That's, that's my of job. Course, you know. And I, but course. I've been also learning so much from, from folks like Christina and my team who have a wealth of knowledge in this world. Um, but I would say, you know, getting back to your original question, I do feel like that is an opportunity for us to really maximize um, and really continue to serve, uh, serve something that many women cannot find elsewhere. And that's that's the joy that I've found here of working at Full Beauty at all the brands that I've worked at is we really do serve a customer who cannot find this product elsewhere. Like there, there are other brands that say they do plus size, but then I'm just like, okay, what size do you go up to? Oh, you go up to a 30? You're like, mm, okay. that's cute. Like, yeah, you know what, it, it is in some, some respect. Some of them but say like, they're XL and it's a 16. Yeah, so it's like there is it's not a realistic. huge component of, of a huge audience, I should say, of people who can't find this anywhere else. And so for us to be able to provide that to them and continue to, to speak to them and understand what are the other issues in your life that are preventing you from feeling as confident as you can, how can we, again, find those solutions for you and, and make you feel as confident as possible? What else does Swimsuits for All offer in addition to swimwear? Um, I mean, we are primarily a swimsuits brand, but we do have a, a growing we, you know, cover-up business. And one of the things we're looking to span for next year is, you know, we keep using this phrase of like beach to boardwalk. So mm -hmm. what you were mentioning before, you know, we know that you may be going on vacation and laying by the beach, but Quite often, you're there with your kids. You might be sitting by the pool, but you might be running after them, mm -hmm. and you have to be active as well. So we're starting to kind of expand to different programs. We have a couple of um, programs that we launched this year. Um, the Quick Dry program we have, which is, um, Quick Dry itself is a fabrication that has, as the name implies, very quick drying and moisture wicking properties. So they come in silhouettes like, you know, 
easy shorts, an easy skirt, um, and it's made for the person who is by the pool and maybe isn't fully jumping into the pool but is watching her kids, she's getting splashed. Um, and so this fabrication allows her to be by the pool and not have to worry about sitting there and being, you know, and damp and soaking wet, that type of situation. for a woman, it's not super efficient <clears throat> to sit around in a wet bathing suit, exactly. if you know what I mean. Yep. So that's nice because if you don't have a chance to change or if you're going from the boat to lunch to exactly. this to whatever yep. and you're like, that, that's very helpful. Yeah. And so next year we're going to, we're doing some other um, ideas in that sort of vein, one of our um, I'll give a little preview of an idea for next year, but we are looking after, you know, when you're going on vacation, you're doing a lot of travel, so how can we provide something in our assortment that is made for you to be traveling in? Something you can throw into your suitcase and not worry about it being wrinkled when you pull it out. So again, we're really looking at more kind of fabric technologies, building upon the quick dry as an example I gave you before, but this kind of pack and go idea um, again, she, we know she's going on vacation. How can we make it easy for her to not have to worry about pulling that outfit together or worried about things being wrinkled? So, um, you know, our cover-ups business is small but mighty, and we think we have some really good ideas. Um, and again, comes back to that kind of beach to boardwalk idea. Like Any accessories, any shoes, beach bags? Yeah, so we do have um, a growing sun hat business as well. That's something that we definitely grew more so this year, and we have a lot of great learnings from it. Um, and then we do have, um, for total full beauty brands, we do have um, our brand Shoes for All, and they do offer. A, oh, that's right. Shoes yeah, for all. yeah, yes, yes, exactly. Yes, of and so that is a place where you can find, you know, sandals to go out to dinner, gladiator sandals, all the way down to like, you know, your cheap and basic, um, you know, flip flops that you would wear by the pool type situation. So give us some, uh, you know, a mantra, a style mantra, a mm. truth that you live by that you can tell our fashion besties mm. about swimwear. Mm. Ha, huh, swimwear uh, is not a throwaway piece. It can be an investment piece. Mm. So you were looking for versatility. Like where can you wear this? So we have a lot of, especially our tankini and crop swim tops mm. that work with a skirt or a pair of shorts to be that uh, resort or vacation piece that mm. can take you past just being on the beach. Mm. And I think that taps ba- into what, oh, you don't know how many <laughs> cases you have, I have to ask. Like a hundred? Oh no, it's only maybe 40. Oh, that's a lot. Oh, only 40. <laughs> I, I've, I've gone beyond the drawer space allowed I and for mm-hmm. what I have, mm-hmm. but um, I love swimsuits and it's hard for me to walk away. And I recently, become a believer in printed swimsuits because mm. I was always a salad a salad girl, a salad girl. <laughs> I'm not a salad girl I'm a solid I'm girl. not either I'm like I don't um, want to go to a restaurant and pay for lettuce I don't want to do that not so much yeah. I do it when I have to but um I've taken on like the print challenge like what would you wear mm. nice mm-hmm. and I bought a blue thing with a tie-dye down the side and some oh, pink cute. flowers and I got so many compliments mm-hmm. and I thought you can wear a print you certainly can. Mm-hmm. Sometimes when you work in the fashion industry, you tend to want to distance yourself from that mm-hmm. because you work with prints all day. Yeah. And prints are really personal. Mm-hmm. You know, a, a solid black one piece, you know, mm-hmm. is elegant and timeless. But my blue swimsuit, I'm rocking it all summer. Um, yeah. We will be looking for pictures and photos of you rocking it on the beach. Brian, give us a truth, a mantra, something you live by, even for men's swimsuits, yeah. you know, something you, how you feel. Yeah, I mean, I, I do think that, you know, while we're talking about women's swimmer, I think that, again, for me, it is about finding that confidence. I'm someone who, I was a kid growing up who dreaded taking a shirt off at the pool. Like, really? Oh, 100%. I was the chubby kid growing up, and I, I was self-conscious for... Why, why a 12-year-old was self-conscious about his body? Like, that's, that's society's reasons right. to answer, but I was nonetheless. So I do understand the, the fear that can come with being out in public and bearing, literally bearing so much of your skin to other people. So, I mean, the mantra that I say is, how can we make sure that when you're out and about in a swimsuit that you don't care what anyone else has to say about you? I want you to feel so confident that if anyone has anything negative to say to you like you will not you won't even hear it because the praise that you're bringing to yourself is loud enough to drown that out i always say it's about the energy when 100%. you know that you are looking the best you possibly can and nothing can stop you and your style has evolved and you're not stuck then that's when people start to notice and they start asking you for advice like, where'd you get that where'd you get that like you where'd you get that where'd you get that mm-hmm. how can we find swimsuits for all how can we support and connect 
Yeah, Simpsons for All. Um, SimpsonsforAll.com is the easiest place. That's directly our, our website. Um, I always encourage you guys to sign up for emails um, so you can make sure you're always hearing about the new arrivals. Discount. We uh, Yes, there's new discounts for people who are signing up uh, for, as new customers as well. Um, you can also find us, we're also a catalog business as well, so you can get on our mailing list to get our catalogs mailed to you. Um, we don't send tons uh, for Swimsuits for All, but it's a great place to see, again, how um, all of the swimsuits will look on you. Um, our photographer and creative team does a fantastic job of, of really kind of bringing our swimsuits to life. Um, and of course, follow us on social. We're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, um, and that's a place where we um, are always trying to make sure we're, um, again, showing off the new product, but also um, you know, talking to any sort of sales and promotions or anything upcoming that we want our, our fans to know about. So, Do you want pictures of people in this to send in? Oh, 100%. You do I mean, want that, that. Was, yeah, okay. that was our, uh, the basis and of Tell them about the swim star. Yeah, well, I was going to say our, our whole campaign from this past year um, was centered around, it was called um, All For You. And first of all, we worked with Katie Serino, who is um, a very well-known yes. um, influencer. Um, and she was great to work with. Um, but the other component of the campaign is that we actually selected six women to star with, with Katie nice. in the campaign. S regular people. Yeah, they submitted. Um, they had to submit videos of themselves in their favorite swimsuit for all nice. swimsuit, talk to us about why they want to be part of the campaign. And again, it was so magical to be part of the campaign because you could literally see the visual transformation of these women as they, they got to try on the swimsuits here in New York. We flew them to the Bahamas. They got a photo shoot with a- My mouth is dropping yeah, right a, now for a, those who are listening. A very well-known Sports Illustrated photographer was their- was their, um, What their are you saying? Photographer and me. stylist. Oh and so to see the, the confidence come through in all the images, like, not to sound cheesy, but you, you got kind of emotional about of it because you, you're like, wow, these everyone was so powerfully confident in themselves. Um, so to go back to your original question about seeing, you know, people submit their pictures on social media, we love it because we do want to see how the swimsuits look out, out in the wild, so to speak, and how everyone is making it their own and the confidence that it brings, the energy, the positive vibe, like all of those things, like there's so much power in being able to see see your swimsuits out in the world basically and that people really like it they get it they feel yeah. it yeah. they see it it's it's so it's not about the clothes but it mm -hmm. is it's it's I hard think. to decipher yeah you know of course it's about the clothes but it's really about how you feel 100%. I can't thank you guys enough for your time of course. we've gone way over you've let me invade your life your workspace I really appreciate it we are at one New York Plaza am I allowed to say that yeah absolutely I mean we have a view honey up here so I would love to invite myself back anytime um, and I would love to try some of the products Product, and I will certainly be submitting my pictures. It's okay if you want to burn it or no, if you want to pretend no. del hit delete. It's, <laughs> it's totally up to you. Never. Never. <laughs> um, you can't confirm or deny, nope. but um, I'm so excited to see the new stuff. And thank you so much for joining us. My name is Holly Cates, your favorite personal stylist. And as always, please connect with us. Let us know about your swimsuit picks. Please follow Swimsuits for All and all of their other brands under the full beauty brand umbrella. We are so excited. Thank you to Christina and Brian, and we will certainly be back. Sign up for our email list. Make sure you DM me. Let me know what you think. If you like any of their products, if you love any of their swimsuits, give us some feedback. And thank you so much. Y'all have a fabulous, fashionable week. Bye.